today's series is inspired by family and the series of poses we're going to do today was inspired by a conversation with one family member and my different items, my socks, my shirt, different things are inspired by family and I'm just feeling so powerfully the energy of family and I invite you to think about family, either chosen or the one you're born into or both, but uh, bring in the yoga of family and family relationships. When I was getting ready for today, I was thinking about what pregnancy means. There are so many ways that we can be pregnant with ideas, with actual human beings, um, with, with fear, with enthusiasm, with anxiety, with hope, with love, with joy. Uh, there is so much that can brew in these lower two chakras. And just as we have come to misunderstand pregnancy, um, you know, it's very common in a TV show to see somebody who's pregnant, they will be on a hospital bed with their feet in stirrups and the doctor standing there and ready. And that way of giving birth was created so that doctors could do their job and be present for emergency situations. But more times than not, our body is actually made to give birth in, in flow. It doesn't mean there's not a lot of effort involved, but the safest and most effective way, and I mean safest for the mother and safest for the baby and fastest way is actually not to be on your back because that goes against what's happening. You're actually impeding motion. It is to stand and squat like this. Boop, there it goes. And so what's happened is that we mistake an effort to be prepared for the worst and we set ourselves up for this force and this uh, instead of actually going with what's happening, actually letting it happen, letting it go in the gentler way, in the way that is more accommodating for the being or entity or idea or whatever thought that is being birthed. Let's think about the person giving birth and the thing being birthed instead of the worst case scenario of what birth can be. And in that way, not only does the idea come to light through gentleness or in a more gentler way, but the undertaking itself of creativity doesn't come with such heavy pressure or baggage of force, of done is better than good, of get it out there, just get it out there no matter what. Like, we don't need that sense of urgency. And in fact, if we lean on it less and let it flow out, perhaps we give it a fighting chance of really coming to life and thriving because we didn't expend all of our energy in the pregnancy and the act of creating itself. We can spend more energy on the nurturing part. So with that, think of anything that you might be on the brink of birthing or or of your baby <laughs> and join me for today's series of poses. We're going to begin with grounding. So I'd like you to take your bolster. I'm using my chakra blanket. You can use a pillow, a bolster, a yoga block, and I'd like you to lay on your left side and have one leg, Have your, let your left leg um, pointing down the mat and let your right knee rest on this bolster. You can tuck it into your left hip and let your left arm lay on the ground. And I'd like you to feel what it feels like breathing into the belly. Feel what that feels like. Let any thoughts, worries, fears that may have come with you on the mat let them release, as many yoga teachers say, don't worry, they'll be there for you. If you want to pick them back up again, you may leave them at the door and then they'll end up in lost and found and eventually be donated or released to wherever they need to be next.
leaving the eyes closed, letting the eyes open. Think of that word family. Let it land for you. Feel where it lands in the body if it lands as a sensation in the body. Feel where it lands in the heart, in the emotional body, in the intuitive body, in the mental body. What does family feel mean here? Sound tastes like. And now from here, I'd like you to just stretch the left arm along the ground, feeling the left shoulder tip pinned with the energy pointing, harnessing gravity's force, 9.8 meters per second squared, feeling it pushing into feeling gravity doing the work to let the shoulders rest into the mat. And then from here, we're just gonna unfold the upper body and my upper, my right hip, my right leg wants to move with my body that's unfolding. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna remove the bolster, boom. And we're going to bring this left leg bend it under the right leg and let the right leg rest on top of the left leg. And in that rest, now this lower body is essentially pinning itself to the ground, letting gravity do its work, do its force, its consistent force. And it, with this lower body pinned to the ground and our left side pinned to the ground, we're just gonna unfold the right side, keeping the gaze over the left shoulder Unfold the right side toward the openness and allow that stretch to take place in the thoracic spine. Oh, it's so nice. We rarely get to stretch this area. We always want to go for the goal, go for the result of getting that left side flat. And so we end up not keeping this orientation getting the right side flat so we end up not keeping this orientation to the left side that is this is the win this 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 tension that you're feeling and then releasing and feeling and then releasing which results in the right shoulder tip eventually being on the ground as well but so worth it to let it happen moment by moment instead of force this is safer more effective Okay, let's go to the other side. So we'll bring our two feet to the ground and we'll shift our butt to the left side of the mat to give ourselves space on the mat and let your knees fold over to the, so that your, knee, your kneecaps are pointing towards the right side of the mat and let your right side body orient to the right side of the mat so that your heart's facing the right side of the mat. Let your arm lay flat along the ground. And then from here, let your gaze look out over that right arm. And now let your left side unfold, keeping the gaze and only allowing this middle area to twist away. Feel the effect of rest. If we were too active in our lower body, if we weren't letting it rest, it would actually be harder to keep it on the ground. But if we allow full rest, so much easier to then, from that point of that pinned lower body to twist. Find that twist in the thoracic spine. Breathing through it all. Wonderful. Okay, bring the bottom of your feet, palms of your feet to the ground, flat to the ground. And I just want you to bring the legs up and over your head because we're just going to use the momentum. We're just going to roll up to come to seated. So bring the legs back and boom, let our upper, let ourselves roll up and come to seated pose. And we're going to start 
with Om, and then we're going to do a lovely mantra. I wanted to do Om Namah Shivaya, but there's one that came even more powerfully, and it is Om Namah Shivaya is to Shiva, the destroyer and the creator. Um, but I'm actually going to lead you in a different mantra for Ganesha. We're going to do three rounds, but we're going to begin with Om. Um, inhale. Um. You're welcome to leave your hands at your heart or palms facing upwards on your knees, palms facing downwards on your knees. I want you to feel what feels right for you instead of what the different positions are going to give you. Feel what feels right. Om Gam Ganapatya Namo Namaha Sri Siri Vayaka Namo Namaha Ashtavinayaka Namo Namaha Ganapatiya Bapa Moriya Om Gam Ganapatiya Namo Namaha Sri Siri Vayaka Namo Namaha Ashtavinayaka Namo Namaha Ganapatiya Bapa Moriya Om Gam Ganapatiya Namo Namaha Shri Siri Vayaka Namo Nama Ashtavinayaka Namo Nama Ganepatiya Bapa Moriya Okay, let's now move into alternate nasal breathing. I'd like you to take your two fingers it doesn't matter which hand you use. Some people don't agree. I don't care which hand you use. And you're going to take your two fingers. You're going to put them, your pointer finger and your middle finger are going to rest on your third eye. And you're going to place your thumb on one nostril. And you're going to breathe out through the other nostril. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. And now breathe in. And now I'd like you to take your ring finger and pin your nostril that you just breathed in through closed. And then release the nostril that you were pinning closed with your thumb. And through that nostril, exhale. And now I'd like you to inhale through that nostril. Pin it closed with your thumb. Release that ring finger, the nostrils are covered by the ring finger and exhale. Again, inhale. Pin it. Release with thumb. Exhale. Pin it. Oh, <laughs> no. You have to inhale. Inhale. Pin it with your thumb. Release the ring finger. Exhale. Inhale. Pin it with your ring finger. Release your thumb. Exhale. Release your hand down back to your hands, back to your legs. And now let's come to standing.